Well, she first had a scene double on my cousin Tyler Perry's hit series, The Oval. Now, one of those characters, as you know, has no choice but to be ruthless. She's in a religious cult and can't trust anyone. You think I don't know when I'm being played? Such language, Rose. Oh, you think that's something to... Wait till you see these hands. I beg your pardon? Don't play games with me. Sorry, my mistake. And if I ever hear you say that again, I will make sure you can never speak again. And now I'm afraid, rooted at the center of all things rootless is an actress, a singer, a do-gooder who knows no limits. Please give a warm welcome to my friend, my family member, Melissa L. Williams! <laughs> Too. What do you mean? Can you you already, like seriously? What what does it say on your show? T a Tyler Perry production, right? That makes us officially. We don't need Maury to tell us we're related. You are the no. cousin. If we went to Maury, he would be like, "That's right." That's what we're gonna. I do. am the cousin. Yes. He would have read that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what he would tell us. We already knew that, and and it always feels like a reunion when I see you. The last time I saw you, by the way, you were sitting in a closet in a new mm -hmm. home, and that's not where you are right now. No, I'm not. Um, and that was an exciting time. You know, I decided during the pandemic, I was like, I don't want to be trapped in an apartment. I really want a yard. I want a pool. I want a home. And God is good because that was my first home experience. I do not have the home anymore. I've since sold it. But it was a great experience. I, um, you know, I got to live out my dream of being a homeowner. Um, and I'm now moved again um, into a condo because I realized I don't think one lady needs all that space. I know, and it's it's uh, yeah. for me because I'm a wuss. Like if I if there's if there's no like if it's too much space, I get I get afraid of like any little noise and stuff. But oh, who you tell it? Yeah, right. Yeah. I was like. I need guns, I need ammo, I need everything. <laughs> but I think, but, I, I but you've, maybe you've learned some moves from Ruth. Because you, like, oh, yeah. I, watching Ruth, I'm scared. Like, even that clip, I was like, I'm afraid to talk to Melissa now, because I don't know. No! Okay, so Ruth is definitely ruthless. Um, she puts the fear of the Raku, not God, because mm -hmm. they praise the Raku. She puts the fear of Raku in people. And I think it really comes from her influence. I mean, come on, the highest. Look yeah. at how he treats people. And Daikon, these are two of her lovers. So, of course, they're going to naturally rub off on her. And I think that in season three, you see that, like, she's reclaiming her power, um, taking a little bit of the influence that, she, like, I just spoke about. Yeah. And, yeah, she's kind of just reclaiming her territory as the woman of the compound. Well, I think when we watch, like, your, your growth, and I know that you're learning so much and revealing so much to yourself with this character that you didn't even know that you could probably do before, because I, I know that you started as, like, an extra. Was it on Daddy's Girls, Daddy's Little Girls, or something like that? Yes. And here that was you, on Daddy's Little Girls, yeah. yeah. And, here, and then you, you got on The Oval, you get this spinoff where you are the show. You are it. And I know you always say, like, God is good. You are who God says you are. That's what your mantra is. And it's just incredible to watch your growth and your success. It's just, I don't know. It's just meant to be. You know, it's like I'm just a testament of God keeps his promises. And I think that at the end of the day, there has to be, just like with this show, um, a, we all want a sense of belonging um, and I think that that's like a human need. Mm -hmm. And so I think for this to happen to me, my dreams actually manifest. It's just the, the testament that God keeps his promises and that, you know, if you have a spiritual foundation, which I feel like that's just should be at the core of every human for resilience, mm -hmm. like you're going to you're going to you're going to accomplish some pretty great things. Yeah, spiritual and you also have talent. Let's not forget yeah. that because you you Sorry. you have talent as well. And not just acting talent, the singing part. So since you're all the way in LA, I can't stalk you enough. Can I? Can we do Broadway soon? Why? By we, I mean you, not me. Are we, oh, I was are like, we go, going go. to? Me and you can do Little Shop of Horrors together. If you if you turn off my mic, yeah, we will. I got if you. I, I'll sing. Your if part. I lip sync, we but can. I, but can you? Will you? Do you want yeah, to? Yeah, I actually. That's my goal. You know, I am. 
my focus is longevity in this in this industry. So I'm just really taking it one day at a time, one project as they come. But I have aspirations of being on Broadway. I have aspirations of putting out music. Um, some of my idols, I really admire J Lo, Beyonce, uh, actresses like Zendaya and Kiki Palmer who have put out music, yeah. who are also doing well in the television industry. Kiki Palmer also did Broadway. She just hosted SNL. I, I mean, know. Again, you come on like what can we not do there's so nothing much, so, so i, I so just... i know i will see you on broadway sometime soon when the time is right because we've put it out there we've manifested it so but when are we going to see for the holidays where are you going to be for the holidays because you didn't invite me to the house which you promised you would oh. and now you're i know i didn't forget that but it's okay we're we're related i forgive you family but so where are you, what are you doing for the holidays Okay, so please forgive me. And you're more than welcome if you want to come to Atlanta. I'll be in Atlanta okay. where my dad lives and my Ooh. sister lives. Oh, that's a short flight. All right. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna go delta.com and find my ticket. Tell your dad ahead of time so he doesn't call the cops when I show up. <laughs> I'll be serious. So be like, you didn't tell huh? And I'll be like, just just let her in. Let, let her, her in. in. She's fat she's Stella Barry's cousin. Let her in. <laughs> right. Yeah. And you'll let me in. Melissa, you know, it's always a pleasure to see you. Always a pleasure to chat with you. And hopefully we'll get to see you in person one of these days. But for now, we're all just going to watch you via TV. New episodes of Ruthless, everyone. It drops every Thursday on BET+. Plus. Go support her. Not just because she's my cousin and family member, but because she's, she's the best. Good to see uh, you as always. You. Keep glowing. Me too. Sending you all the love and peace. And I hope that you have an abundant holiday. Ooh, I feel and it. hopefully, like you said, I'm there. You soon will be. In person. You can hug and you, catch you will up. be. You will be. See you soon, okay?